All right, Manny, thank you for joining right, me. Thank you. You remind me of a, a, a rock star, you know, uh, who burst onto the scenes and all of a sudden become this global star. I mean, is it, uh, is it too much now? I mean, with, with, the, with the family, with, with your, your fights, or with your smiling and all this kind of stuff, does it, do you think about that? <laughs> um, the, I have a lot of responsibility, you know, especially um, I need to, to give time to my family and of course the fans and the work and, and the, my job in office, office so but I'm, I'm still okay I'm still happy doing that you know continue my boxing career you know that's that's really a major uh, point that I, I want to make also the fact that when I back in my heyday when I was uh, you know champing and all this kind of stuff um, you know I, I I was involved with a lot of things. Television. I worked for a number of uh, networks. Um, I was doing um, TV shows and commercials and things of that nature. Um, and at, at some point, I, I kind of almost lost track of what I wanted to do or what I'm. You know, uh, does it ever happen to you? Do you ever lose track? No. I. How do you How do you stay there? How do you stay focused? You know, I, I have to stay focused and especially to, to your family because sometimes because of your too busy, you don't have time to, to your family. So you have, you have to focus first and give time to your family and then the rest that's your job, your, your responsibility being a boxer, being, being a politician, you know, in, in your responsibility, responsibility to the fans, everything you have to, you know, manage your time <laughs> yeah, but you know, I'm glad you brought that up, the fact of being a politician, too, uh, the fact of congressman. Uh, but it's all about people. It's all about helping, being of service. And yes, you yeah. thoroughly enjoy that, huh? You, because they've asked me, uh, would you ever consider being in politics? And I, I just felt that it was just too overwhelming, too much. But you do impact. You do make a difference in people's lives. And that's what apparently you are trying to do. That's right. Um, <clears throat> I'm happy to help people. In, uh, uh, especially when you help them and they're very um, thankful to you and they're happy and you know it's it feels good you know um, even you have you're busy you're tired <coughs> it makes you um, uh, um, relax and very happy and and I want to do that yeah when did you know that you were there? When did you know that you, you know, Manny Pacquiao, you're the man, you made it, you're a champ. Because for me, when I, when I was in training camp and uh, I was fighting Tommy Hearns in 1981 uh, in Las Vegas and Muhammad Ali came to my training camp. And when he walked through those, those doors, I was like, I made it. You know, because I mean, Ali, who was, who was to me was, was God, was my idol and everything else. When did you know that you hit that point? Um, here's my, <clears throat> for me, is um, wh whatever that I have done in boxing, whatever my achievements that I have, and I never, I never put that in my head, you know. It's, it's, it's good because that God um, blessings that he gave it to me, but I always uh, thank God and thank to, to, all the, to all the support of the fans, to the people who, who behind who's behind me, and I always you know praise God and give thanks to all the blessings that He gave to me, and I'm I'm so happy what I have done. And you know, right now if I can't imagine that I, you know, I'm gonna be like this, <laughs> right? And we meet meeting with the like you, you know, you know before when I start boxing, I just. You know, watching your, you may, I have a, a lot of uh, uh, VHS tape, tape, mm -hmm. VHS tape, before, not, not CD, not the DVD, before oh, it's a yeah, VHS. VHS, right, you know, right. VHS, and, <clears throat> and I, I, I saw a lot of uh, fights of yours before, and now I meet you, and I meet some other boxers, mm -hmm. like uh, George Spurman, Evander Holyfield, um, some, the other boxers that um, I used to watch in the in a VHS, so it's I mean it's it's amazing. It's a, it's an honor to me. 
Well, you know what? Um, the thing about, you mentioned God. Uh, you know, uh, I would always pray. I never pray to win. I always pray that no one got hurt. And uh, f from where I've come and from where you've come, it's no question about it. It's a blessing. And, um, and it's a blessing to, uh, to impact people. Because you know what, Manny, I, my greatest accomplishments, um, although major in the ring, but what, I, what I'm able to do now to give people hope or to inspire, motivate people, that's a beautiful thing, man. I mean, uh, and apparently you feel the same way. Yes, um, same way, and I always pray that God used me to, to do that, to help people, and because, you know, what he made me in boxing, it's, I, I believe that I can do that in, 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 as a public servant, and I can accomplish, I can be a, um, a champion being a public servant also. You know, you're here for your fight with Tim Bradley, against Tim Bradley, I should say. Um, you know, uh, uh, some people say, well, he's not, he's not uh, a threat. People are always threat. There's always a threat. What's your take on Tim Bradley? Um, exactly. The, um, you know, when you fight the, the guy, especially Tim, Timothy Bradley, he's, he's undefeated and he's strong. So um, this kind of fight is, is, you know, you cannot underestimate him. He's, he's, he's strong and he's a good fighter. So. Um, I consider this fight is, is one of my hard, hardest fights. Um, and you know that. I, without question. You know, <laughs> yes. when I fought Tom Hearns the second time, damn it, um, I wasn't as focused. I was in shape. I got in great shape. But, I, you know, everyone kept saying, well, Ray, he, you know, he's shot and he's this, he's that. And one punch is over. The fighter himself, you or me, have to stay focused. And it, sometimes after you reach a certain level, it's hard to maintain that level. Well it, well, it should be hard, but when it does become hard, that's a good sign that it's time to kind of pack it in. Yes. You know? That's right. That being said, how does your family feel? I mean, um, we talked briefly in, in Vegas, and uh, does your family want you to retire, your wife, your kids? Um, you know, <clears throat> my family wants me to retire, especially my mom and, and my family, but, and also my kids. But the request of my, of my kids, uh, he's, um, I have kids 11 years old, 10 and 5 and, and 3. The request is, um, Daddy, I want you to retire, but before you, they speak English, because uh, they study in an international school, so right. they, they talk to me in English. Uh, he said, that, Daddy, I want you to retire, um, but before, that, before you retire, I, wa I have a, one request. What is that? And he said, oh, you need to fight Floyd Mayweather and beat him in, in this is that. <laughs> 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 and how old is your kid? Living your son. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully the world will get a chance to see that, man. And uh, hey, man, I love you, man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> your kid. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs>